Hey guys, it's Marta Geek. In this video, I'm going to be playing Monkey Barrels on the Nintendo Switch. Now, this is a game that came out like a week ago, and I received a code so I can try it out and make a video for you guys. So that's what I'm doing in this video. First of all, this is a digital only game, of course, and it's only 3.1 gigabytes in size. And this is uh, one of those games that you're basically shooting from the top or one of those over the top shooters it's really damn cool so i decided to go ahead and make a video because i did like it and of course this is one of those games that are just gonna fly under the radar and people just not gonna play because there's so many games on the eShop. but i decided to go ahead and share a video for you guys so there you have it so here we're playing as two characters you got this female character she's a monkey of course they're all monkeys and we're fighting against um electronic consumer electronics because this is like a post-apocalypse and like you see here there's like a lot of junk everywhere and we're basically it's basically monkeys versus robots or consumer electronics um here you got this is your setup when you go to combat you can change your weapons here uh, right now i got a salt milk which is basically a salt rifle i got the five five a day cider which is a like shotgun i got this right here which is like a mine and like a grenade and you can swap them as you keep on playing this game um over here you got the store with the junk that you collect you can go ahead and buy some weapons here and that's it so let's get out of here um, you could go to the range if you want to test the weapons that you have over here you shoot in the top right here okay. over here you use the shotgun what I like is that every button is actually assigned to a different weapon this is for a mine like see there and this is for like grenades I throw like that I throw grenades and of course if you click the um, X click like that and this is basically using your wild out feature which you you basically like explode so let's go ahead and do one mission here there you go so this game actually has 22 missions we're gonna start with this one right here there you have it so let's go ahead and load it up and start combating So you see that you got some like Roombas going to, towards you. Like those are like TVs. Let me go ahead and zoom in here a little bit better. Hey, yes, this game does get a lot more harder. Right now, this level is not going to be that hard, but it does get a lot more harder. You're going to be fighting bosses. Oh, crap. Over here, you got your life. I could go ahead and put a, a, a mine. That way, they can just, once they tap it or touch it, they're dead. Oh, it's going to throw a grenade right there. Oh. Oof. Of course, you can reload here as well. Let's see. You want to collect all this junk that the enemies are releasing every time you kill them. Because um, that's your currency. That's basically your currency. You got to accumulate it up here in the top. It's going to blow this barrel up. Oh, oh crap! We got you. we got hit there. There you go. We got some cans. We got to do one of those wild outs. There you go. <laughs> Oh no. Whew.
Uh oh. Don't throw a grenade. There you go. Oh, no. There you go. We're going to the next section. There you go. So you can see they're a very cool shooter. I really like it. I like these type of over-the-top shooters. And yes, this game does have like a little cutscene story explaining you what's going on in this world. Oh no, oh, there you go. We use a one of those mines. I was gonna try to use a wild out explosion, but my bar was not full. Oh. There you go, where you going, bro? <laughs> Okay, we got another section over there, but you can keep on exploring because sometimes you can find like hidden weapon blueprints. And holy crap, look at this! Put a grenade right there, put a mine right there. Okay, I think I already did find a a, a blueprint here. Okay, let's go ahead to the next world, or to the next section. And of course, if there's like a gap or something, you can jump with this button right here, the B. We got a checkpoint. There you go. If you die, we're going to go ahead and respawn right there. Oh, no! Go on. Come on. There you go. We got a banana. Bananas actually give you extra life. There you go, we got another two, one of those. And there's something over here. No, it's okay. There you go. <laughs> Got you with the mines. There you go. Had to use the wild out. Had to explode myself there. Okay, we got another. Oh no! Are you serious? Are you serious? Come on! There you go. Uh oh, there comes this big guy again. Oh! Oh! Where are you going, dude? There you go. <laughs> Man, there you go. Mm. 
There you go. That's another section there. But let me go ahead and... Ah, oh, man. That was a banana over there. Let's go ahead and see what's over here. Oh, man. Almost blew myself up. Okay, I think I uh, I think I actually when the first time I played this, I think I got like a blue a weapon blueprint there. It was hidden, so yeah, that's why you want to visit those locations cuz you might get something special. Uh, right now I think I already can buy a rocket if I want. Cuz this game does get a lot more a lot more harder. Oh, come on. There you go. Ah, oh, I got a life and I lost another life there. There you go. No boy, no boy. There you go. <laughs> Oop. You don't want to. You don't want to blow these up when you're near them. Uh oh. Ah. Whew. There you go. Oh. Woohoo. There you go. Damn. Okay, you, I got something there. There you go. We got extra life there. We're done here. Come on, let's go to the next one. Okay, we got a checkpoint, so I think there comes the boss now. We got a boss match right here. Grenade. Ah. Woohoo. We got it. We got it. Stage clear. There you have it. We got our results. Twenty over twenty five hundred in junk. We did it in 11 minutes and 27 seconds. Uh, I guess we got all this. This is uh, because the first time I did it, I actually got some blueprints for weapons. And I think we also got something else there that I couldn't read because it was right here in the corner. And there was a lot of things going on on the screen. So basically, that's how this game is. You go to the store here and you buy whatever weapon you want with the junk that you collected. So right now, if I want to buy like a rocket, this right here is like a rocket. Could go ahead and buy that. Uh, yeah, buy it. Buy it. Buy it. There you go. Um, gas dryer, cafe gun. You can see the power. Just like that. Let's go back over here. Oh, you also got the other the sub weapons as well. You go and switch over here. So if I want to switch, the, let me see. 
I got this, let's go this for the rocket one, which is the rocket. These are the ones that I have. Yeah, I think it's this one. Is it that one? I don't know. Okay, these are that ones. And of course, if you want to try the weapons out before you actually go into battle, you can just try them up here. This is how these work. Okay, this is pretty good. Oh, you can go ahead and switch again. Which one was it? I think it was pop for pop gun. I'm going to choose this one. Nah. Nope, it's not those. No, we already got those. But, there you go, guys. So, that's how you play this game. You can go ahead and switch characters here if you want. And there it is. So, we got our second... The other mission, which is basically the third one. The, the first mission is going to be um, like a tutorial. Showing you guys um, how to play the games. But it's basically like a mission, but it's built to be like a tutorial. That way you can actually learn. You know what? I think I got the wrong weapon. that I, I did not purchase this weapon. And the thing is, once you start playing, I believe you can't switch weapons. Nah. I think you can go to the camp, but you can't switch weapons. You have to finish the mission like that. Yeah. Yeah, guys. So thanks for watching this video. I just wanted to share this uh, gameplay with you guys because um, I just, like I said, I got a code for this game last week. I didn't make a video. I was busy recording other games. Um, and if you like these type of shooters, uh, I think this is going to be a very cool addition to your library because it's really fun. It's really fun, especially like I said, if you like these type of shooters, you're going to like it. And it does get challenging, believe me. If you think this is easy, it does ch get challenging. Ah, oh, we died right there. Oh no, we keep dying there. There you go. There you go. Well, guys, thanks for watching this video. This was Monkey Barrel for the Nintendo Switch. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.